Hello viewers, I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take the help of ChatGPT to do self-pip speaking. I remember doing a video on self-pip writing last year. Let's get started. So I just asked the chat GPT to give some help with self speaking subsection, giving advice for 90 seconds. For that, chat GPT has given an introduction, a body, and also few examples and conclusion. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Hi, John. I heard you're feeling stressed out about upcoming exams. I completely understand how overwhelming it can be. So it is a friend who is going to take up an exam and you're giving an advice to him. All right. Then what? First, I suggest you create a study schedule by planning out your study sessions. You can manage your time better and avoid last minute cramming. This way, you will cover all your topics systematically and reduce the stress of trying to learn everything at once. Another tip is to take regular breaks during your study sessions. It might seem like you're wasting time, but short breaks can actually help you focus better and retain information. Taking a five minute break or 10 minute break after every hour of study can refresh your mind and keep you motivated. Finally, Make sure you get enough sleep and eat well. Good nutrition and rest are crucial for keeping your brain sharp. Staying healthy is just as important as studying hard as it will help you perform at your best during the exams. So make a study schedule, take a regular break, breaks and take care of your health. I'm sure if you follow these steps, you will do great on your exams. Good luck. And I'm sure if you need any more help, please do call me. So you can see that ChatGPT has come a long way from last year and it is also able to help in self-pip speaking. Brilliant. So let's move on to our next subsection of the self-pip, which is self-pip talking about personal experience for 60 seconds. Let's see how brilliantly ChatGPT can help us with this second subsection of the self of speaking. Introduction, okay. A small brief. And then description, experience, details, describe the event, feelings and thoughts, and then conclusion. All right then, so let's read it from the beginning. I want to talk about a time I went on a road trip with my friends last summer. We decided to drive to the mountains, which are about five hours away from our city. It was a spontaneous plan and none of us had even ever been to that area before. The drive was beautiful. We saw a lot of scenic views and even stopped at a few places to take pictures. One of the most memorable moments was when we reached a viewpoint just in time to watch the sunset over the mountains. I felt so relaxed and happy being out in nature with my friends. It was such a refreshing break from the usual routine. The whole experience reminded me of the importance of taking time off to enjoy life. Overall, the road trip was one of the best experiences of my life. It taught me to appreciate the simple joys of life and the value of good company. So you see that ChatGPT has really helped us with two subsections 
of the CELPIP speaking. Let's um, move on to CELPIP because we don't have images for describe image or for that matters for making prediction or even for comparing and persuading. So we'll have to wait for that. And then let's see if we can get any help with opinion, CELPIP speaking. Um, so it is the uh, seventh subsection, so. Opinion. For 90 seconds. All right, so let's see what it says. The sixth or seventh, sorry, seventh subsection of self speaking. All right. Brilliant. Okay. Structure for expressing an opinion. Give reasons for your opinion, include examples or personal experiences. Sequencing firstly, for instance, secondly, lastly. Wonderful. For example, again, and making a summary of the opinion by making a final statement. Period. All right, let's see what we have here. Okay. In my opinion, remote work is a great option for many people. I believe it offers numerous benefits over traditional office work. Firstly, remote work offers greater flexibility. It allows people to manage their time better and balance their work and personal life. For instance, working parents can spend more time with their children while still fulfilling their job re responsibilities. Secondly, it can lead to increased productivity. Many people find that they are more focused and efficient when working from the comforts of their home. I've noticed that without the distractions of busy office environment, I can complete my task faster and with better quality. Lastly, remote work can save money and reduce stress. There's no need for commuting, which saves on travel expenses and reduces the stress associated with long commutes. For example, my friend who works remotely now saves at least two hours a day that he used to spend commuting and he feels much more relaxed. In conclusion, I firmly believe that remote work is highly beneficial due to its flexibility, productivity, benefits and cost savings. As technology continues to advance, I think we will see even more people opting for this way of working. See you on the other side. This is Sridhar signing off. Thanks for watching.